Canine perception is dominated by their sense of smell. In an interesting comparison, humans have roughly 5 million olfactory receptors, whereas dogs have, on average, 220 million. The process of sniffing is a universal trait in dogs and an important mechanism to gather information about their environment. A complicated network of turbinates within the nose slow and perfuse the pathway of incoming air, while also increasing the surface area available for receptors of olfaction. Studies conducted by Crave have shown that the modified airflow pattern quickly transports scent particles to the nasal recess and olfactory receptors and retains the particles even after a dog has exhaled. The action of sniffing is very intensive and Crave found that dogs, regardless of size, sniffed at the same frequency five times per second. The most common greeting behavior exhibited by dogs is sniffing, especially in the head and genital areas. In a study conducted by Rezac, 75% of dogs demonstrated this behavior in a public environment. This indicates that sniffing has a key role in conveying information and assists in communication between dogs. Furthermore, dogs have the ability to detect many odors at low concentrations and possess remarkable skill in odor discrimination. This would suggest that dogs do not need close contact for olfactory communication. Studies have shown that males more frequently sniff and lick females than the other way around, an evolutionary tactic designed to determine if a female is in heat. Male dogs accomplish this by perceiving scents from female urine, anal gland secretions, and vulvar secretions. Urine marking is a form of chemical communication seen in many species, including dogs where one animal deposits urine on the ground or other surfaces as an identifying signal to other animals of the same species. Since dogs by nature are territorial animals, they use urine marking to signal the boundaries of their territories. A key factor in identifying urine marking is the action of sniffing beforehand. A study conducted by Beckhoff found that dogs possess the ability to distinguish their own urine from the urine of other dogs and are able to determine the duration of time since another dog has been in the area. Both factors contributed significantly to the frequency of urination. The ability of a dog to detect the direction of a track is of vital importance for species of prey and is a skill retained by many modern dog breeds. This ability has been perfected through breeding and training to serve humans in many situations. According to Thiessen, tracking behavior consists of three phases. The first is a searching phase, where a dog sniffs and paces frequently in order to locate a scent trail. This is followed by the decision phase, characterized by long sniffs and a conclusive choice of direction. The final phase is the tracking phase. The rate of sniffs and walking pace become constant as the dog follows the scent trail. You ain't nothing but a hound dog